You guys, we are having literally the craziest storm. Like, I've never seen one this bad. Oh my gosh, I can't even open the door. Oh, babe, the whole house fell down. Swear to God. Oh my gosh, the house fell down? Oh my, shit. Oh my gosh. The house literally fell down. We need to go inside. Oh my gosh. The house is literally falling. And our fence, babe. Look at our fence. I gotta move that, man. I have to move that right here. Well, move it. Oh my gosh, our fence is gonna fall down. And you, or how about your truck? Look, I have to move it. Are you gonna bring your truck in? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, babe. I don't know if you should do this right now. I'm scared. Where are you gonna put it? Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the craziest. Holy. Can you pull it inside? I can't, man. How about your truck? Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. This is the craziest storm we've literally ever had. I can't believe that house just fell down. Oh my gosh. Do you think that we're good? I think you should bring that in while it's slowed down. Bring it in all the way because it's going to hit our fence and what if it knocks it down? It could fly into your car or something too, and that's even worse. If it flies into your truck. What if it flies into your truck? Are you gonna bring your truck in? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Our fence in the back is literally tilting. Julius got a battle wound out there. Let me see what happened. Ow. Oh my gosh, what'd you do? Ow, 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 ow. Here, sit down. Ah, sit down. Oh my gosh. Ow. What the heck did you do? Oh my gosh, wait. Is it inside? Yeah. Can I open it? But we're gonna have to put some stuff on it. Just go get me a band aid or something. Good morning. It's the morning after that crazy storm we had, and we're about to go outside right now and see the damage because we do have some. We're ready to go outside. Hey, I don't want to go out without you because Coco's gonna get right in those sprinklers. I'm actually really worried about the damage because just from looking out, I can see that our fence is like, it's leaning really bad. That was our first super, super crazy tornado that we've actually experienced and seen firsthand since we've lived here. There have been other ones, but they've always been like further down away from us and we haven't really had like any actual damage or anything from it, but this one was bad. Like I think a tree fell down right by us. The fire department had to come because I think it was blocking the road and all that and our fence is literally, it's gonna need to be repaired because that thing is and I can't believe that the friggin' neighbor's house actually fell down like you guys. I watched them all the time do that house and they already had like all the woodwork done in it, like all the framing, just for it to collapse. They probably were pissed when they saw that. That's like days worth of work just finished. This little booger is ready to go out. You ready to go outside? Yeah. Okay. My hair is looking crazy, but I'm still cute. <laughs> Okay, let's see what kind of damage we have here. We got the first damage of the, of the storm. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, there's all kinds of crazy bugs here. We've experienced like rain and stuff, but never nothing like that. It was like a, like a real actual tornado type thing. The wind was like, if I would've went outside, it would've blew me over. This thing is like lopsided. Aren't those cement posts right there? Yeah, there's supposed to be cement in here, but. So it was still, was it strong enough? Oh, it it's is, really, what? It is cement, but. Maybe it has to be deeper. When you pull it, does it move? Yeah, it moves. Uh-oh. Basically you have to pull This it. side didn't get messed up, did it? I'll show you. Even though it sucks this happened to our fence, it's okay because we were actually already planning on getting some work done to it anyway. So we actually have somebody that's going to come help us fix this thing and he's going to stain our whole fence for us because when we originally got it put up, we never actually stained it. So now we're barely getting around to that. <laughs> so he's going to have to like fully pressure wash it and then stain it and it's going to look super nice. I can't wait. So yeah, it's actually perfect 
timing that this happened before we did all of the staining and fixed it up all nice because that would have sucked if we had to do it after. I don't know if we've ever showed you this part. We put a little fenced area because we planned on like this being a little sanctuary for the dogs, which maybe we will make it that. We should make a little dog park here. This part's leaning too? Oh, it's leaning towards us. This right here is probably the worst part because this one shows like the front of our house when you look at our house, but it's leaning pretty, pretty bad. I don't even know how the wind is that strong to like push this because like when I'm pushing this, it's like, I wonder what the wind was, so hard, what like the speed was. It had to be like at least 70 for sure. It 60, was crazy because you couldn't even walk out crazy. there. We have a house that's being built by us and they had the structure up, like all the wood, the two by fours and all that stuff. And it literally blown away. Like it was all gone all over the street, all the porta potties everywhere. Porta potties might still be on the floor because I'm not picking those up. How about our trash? Did it blow away? Actually, I woke up super early and there was trash all over our front yard. Really? Well, not like all over, but there was like- Just wood, the bags? Like wood chips, bags. Oh, like debris. Like from all over. So from I, the construction. Yeah, so I went- This poor umbrella yeah. for from Koa's little picnic table didn't survive. <laughs> Should that tell y'all how crazy the storm was. <laughs> it literally ripped. Look at this. <laughs> that, it ripped the whole. That umbrella. poor thing went through it. Oh, that's wild. We gotta prepare, Destiny, because if we go through some. Stuff I know, like that, and our know. power did go out for a second too. Flickering and all that stuff. We don't even have a generator. We need to get one because winter's coming, and you know that's gonna get bad. <sighs> We have a lot of work to do back here. We need to get this backyard in shape because Koa's birthday's coming up. He's gonna be two years old. Yeah, I can't believe it, but we're already starting to plan his birthday party. We were undecided for a while if we wanted to like go on a little trip or have a birthday party. We literally keep going back and forth kind of still, but I think we're just gonna end up doing a little small party. Not Nothing too crazy, just with like, you know, family and a couple people that we know out here. We're just gonna make it a fun day for him. Yeah, it should be pretty fun. We're actually Actually, we really, really, really gotta make this yard look nice because we'll probably end up ordering like some stuff for him to play in back here and all the kids. Yeah, like and jumpers stuff. Yeah. and the soft play set and have like all the pretty balloon decor and a cake for him. Yeah. It's gonna be a vibe. But yeah, our backyard is actually coming along. It's really just feel like the hardest thing about this backyard is just maintaining it. Like yeah. you could come back here and you could get it all nice and looking nice. Like we just cleaned up this whole area. You guys seen in, in like one of our videos, we just cleaned up this whole area and that storm last night ruined it. So we gotta <laughs> re-clean, we gotta get the grass all situated. Today we were actually supposed to start building an outdoor gym slash outhouse by the basketball court. But since that storm happened last night, we aren't able to start it today, so we're gonna be starting tomorrow. Well, he wants it to be a gym, but I'm leaning more towards like, it being just like a little enclosed lounge type yeah. of space. Like there's gonna be couches yeah. in there, there's gonna be probably like a TV. It's just gonna be a cool little chill space because we really like being out here to chill, but sometimes it's like super hot and you just want some shade. And it's gonna be overlooking the whole basketball court, so when Cole is out running around and stuff, we'll be able to chill in there. Yeah, with like have, the sliding glass doors, yeah. so you have a still clear view of the outside. You don't feel like you're like yeah. too inside. You guys, you guys will see the whole thing because we already have it kind of planned out. Something about the air out here, anytime I'm out here for like more than five minutes, my eyes start itching, I start sneezing, like my allergies just go crazy. And I already took an allergy pill right before I came out here because I already learned my lesson. Like it'll ruin my whole entire day and I won't recover. A shark. Those are real sharks. You wanna get some fish? Should we get some fish? A little fish tank? Yeah, let's get silver tip sharks. Where would we put it? Um, We could put it, honestly. Because Doodle can knock anything down. No, I know where we could put it. Where? Right there, we can move some of that stuff right under the picture, that frame right there. Put it right there, fish tank. We have to get like a stand. But a silver tip shark, we're getting it. Yeah. Well, 10 inches. So that's but like do they big. kill the other fish? We don't want that's that. That's like this big, right? 10 inches? <laughs> no, it's not 10 inches. More? A little smaller. <laughs> yeah, maybe like that. It's just a little less than a foot. But do they eat the other fish? Cause we want a whole fish tank, we don't just want one fish. Oh look at it, there's a bunch. We can get some goldfish. I'm not getting no cheap fish. Why, <laughs> that's so rude, just I'm because they're 29 fish. cents. <laughs> I'm gonna like feeder fish. That's not nice to say. I wanna get a turtle. I wanna get a little turtle. That would be super cute. 
You don't want to get a turtle? What about Nemo? The, the silverfish shark is for sure going to eat Nemo. Oh, look at this fish. What is that? Let's go to the bird. Birds are cute, but they're loud. No, period. Definitely not. Sorry, buddy. Not getting you. Look at him. Oh, little baby. Doodle would for sure fight him. It would be, be nice bad. <laughs> you can get a guinea pig. Why? Yeah. All right, y'all. New day, and finally, the sun is shining, and there's no more storm. It actually feels good today. You know what I'm saying? Today's actually Tuesday. Yesterday, you guys knew it was like the aftermath of the storm. It was still kind of like groggy outside and just kind of nasty. Today, it's actually bright, sunny, and it's feeling good. And we're finally starting on the project that we've been wanting to start. We're doing like a man cave. I know Destiny don't want me to call it a man cave, but like a man cave slash gym slash like outhouse chill area. You know what I'm saying? If we got people over, we might go back there, turn the game on. It's gonna be chill with a couch. I can't really explain the exact type, the exact vibe it's gonna be, you guys are just gonna have to see throughout the video. It's not gonna be finished today, but I will go outside right now and show you guys like the start of it, the process of basically putting all the boards together and getting like the foundation started. But we're gonna be working on this today, tomorrow, and we'll probably finish the next day. So Friday, it should be done, and then I just gotta get an electrician to come through and put all the outlets and all that stuff in, and then it's good to go. This is actually one of the reasons why we got an acre of land so we can have the freedom to do whatever we want to do in our backyard and it's finally coming to life we got the basketball court next is the gym slash outhouse slash man cave and then we're adding a playground for koa but i'm about to go outside and show you guys the start of everything i gotta get some of these cookies though destiny down she threw down on some cookies last night yeah, them. The pad right there is where we're starting at. It's gonna be one just big man cave outhouse. And then we got a sliding glass door, just all glass to come down right here. And we got the hoop court. Got the sliding glass door right here. I'm gonna put a door right here to walk into. And the door is actually all glass too. That's the outside right there. We're gonna paint that to match our house. Oh, this is the door over here. The door's gonna be fully see-through. Gonna get like a fingerprint lock. You know, only, only me can go in there. So far, we're making a big progress. This right here is where the sliding glass door is gonna be. You can just open it and walk down here. You're at the basketball court. Then we're gonna put a big window right here, just all glass. Then another one right here. Probably put a plant right here. And then a wall with the TV, all clear door, all glass door right here. You guys are seeing the whole raw, uncut. When this is finished, just know it's gonna be a vibe. Like you guys don't even understand. This is like one big thing that I wanted to do when we got a crib was build like an outdoor gym slash man cave slash just get out the house type vibe. You guys see, that's what it's looking like from a distance. Me and Destiny actually have some plans to build like our own little pathway to the outhouse. I don't even know what we're gonna call it. You wanna know what I'm about to call it? We're calling it the sports book. That's our sports book right there. You know what I'm saying? We are not joking. That's the sports book but that's the last you guys are gonna see of it right now but next video you guys will see it fully done and then you guys also got to help us decorate the inside figure out what we want to do with the inside if we want to get like a nice cozy couch tv and all that stuff so stay tuned because we got a lot of stuff coming for the backyard we still got to add a playground pool all that stuff i gotta go inside because i'm sweating my ass off but we're gonna end the video right here we love you guys so much we'll see you guys in our next video peace